Welcome back everyone to more Fallout New Vegas. Oh, don't crash on me right now. Okay, here we go. Alright, we're turning in a thing. Oh no, we're doing Eddie. That's right. Yeah, well, followers can go away. Sad they never come back to any other Fallout games, but that's because Bethesda's like, well, Obsidian came up with it, so we're not gonna use it. Remember all that stuff from the old Fallout games? Yeah, we're not gonna do that anymore. Is there like another place in here that I don't know about? Yeah, it's saying there's another room all the way back in here. Is I never walked back this the far. Bunker takes a little dumb. getting used to, doesn't it? Look at all this I've been missing. Lorenzo's news. You're the one with that robot. I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. I heard some information from his log. Sounds like he's carrying some enclave data. Really? What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? Yeah, the logs spoke about Enclave Duraframe research and Poseidon Energy research. Did, did you say Poseidon Energy? I've been researching some Poseidon projects here. Do you think you could leave your robot with me for a few days? I have some materials that I can use to upgrade his armor while he's here. Alright, take him. And yeah, no dialogue. Okay. Guys, it's really dark in here. <laughs> You're being watched, so don't get any ideas. What's with that attitude, Veronica? Jeez. Hello. Everybody else is being nice, and you're just like, shut up, get out. Just looking at things. It's a whole new room back here I didn't know about. Oh, what do we have back here? Yes, what is it? And you are? Ah, the outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am head scribe Taggart. And I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Pardon me, all the hay. Yeah? Uh, Stan told me about your little adventure the other day. That was so much fun. The wind whipping through our hair, not knowing what was going to jump out at us at any moment. And when those scorpions came out, it was just like The Sims. All I had to do was line them up and then squeeze the trigger. I doubt I'll be able to get Stanton to go with me again, though. I thought he'd enjoy it as much as I did, but he was just scared the whole time. Don't tell him I told you this, but when those scorpions surrounded us, 
I'd bet a week's rations he pissed himself. Bye. You're, you're crazy. Okay, there's Veronica. I, can't, I keep forgetting she's wearing that power armor now. <laughs> Can I not use a sim? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we Hello, do not want to touch that thing. Let's get out of here. Alright, we dropped off Eddie. Um, yet and black pattern's not working so you know what we're gonna go explore more and there was we can't ex recover the data from vault 21 because we deleted it. Uh, which I could talk to the elder right now. Found the missing patrols, or while that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. See me as soon as you found them. Found the missing patrols? Okay, I don't say it's torment. We already read the logs, so I'm good. Okay. Alright, well, that's kind of a nothing burger. I think I know how we can get on Black Mountain. I kind of remember this, but we gotta go exploring. And that's what we're going to go do. Head up to the surface and we're going to go find a new town. The new town, I think, gets us access to this new area. As well as a new follower. Not one that I would want, but this is a new follower. following this road up to the end of it and it gets us to a new town. Holy heck out of my face! I mean good gosh what the heck was that all about? We don't have Eddie to warn us about enemies now. We have to actually look for once. And I don't have Boone's thing either. The only thing she gives me is a crafting bench. <laughs> a portable crafting bench, which I have yet to use. There we go. Yeah, we can pick all this banana yucca because this is good food. I need some food. You know, in a pinch, I can eat that, but I want to get the healthy stuff. There's another one over here. I 
want to experience. Oh. I mean, not bad for, you know, varmint rifle still holding up good. <laughs> Here, let's go and pick all this up. Here we go. All right, now we're on our way to this town. We'll get some more quests. Hopefully, aren't janked up and broken. Good, she's utilizing the gun that I got her. Ooh, that's good food. You never realize just how bad your perception is until their sensor bot is gone and you can't spot stuff. Shot. Oh, Mantis. Shoot in the butt. Skip. Ah, another mine. We'll check these mines out later. There may be quests to do those, so that's why I'm kind of holding off just running down into them. Definitely having a gun skill maxed out has helped a lot with durability. Oh, we're finding all the food now. Ooh, okay. Come on. selling. Yeah, I could make all these roots and everything into healing powder, but I'm just using it as food. Shoot him in the face.
Oops, Xander Root. This honey mesquite stuff. This is definitely a land of honey. Oh, we're getting some actual foliage, like the world is starting to come back a little bit up here. Here's the new town. There's my boy. The man with the plan right there. Spotted some humans down the road. Could be great cards again. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Marcus, one of the followers you can get in Fallout 2. Voiced by Michael Dorn. Everybody knows his Worf from Star Trek. But yes, yeah, he's freaking awesome. This is like one of your dudes that you got in Fallout 2. is like the dude of dudes. Uh, they're in Super Mutants. They're gonna not like the NCR. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, It'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. It makes the NCR too ambitious. They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Anything else you know about them? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. You got any deals with Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. All right. What about here? Such as? What's the history? Was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. What about you? Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the super mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. Didn't end well. You were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. What about the tribal? This, now this is the main character for Fallout 2, in case you guys didn't know. We were looking for a geck to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out alright in the end. From what I know, yeah, if you do it right, you get the good ending, yeah. All right. What's wrong with Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. 
While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Any other rules you need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. See you. Sadly, we don't get Marcus in our party. He's not a joinable character this time around. But Marcus is awesome, man. He was your big, he was your muscle following too. You could actually have like, what's it, four, five, six characters following you around? You were Sulik, uh, the merchant, can't remember his name, Jake or something. I don't, that's not the guy from the town. The town is his, his partner that he had, uh, co mayor followed too. Um, Marcus, dog meat. You can get married, have your wife following you. Am I ever going to do a playthrough of Fallout 2? Probably not. That game is janky. Woo, is it janky. I've played through and beat the first Fallout. Yeah, there we go. I'll tell you one thing I've noticed in this game that you don't find very much. God dang right away. How much of that stuff do I have left? I used a bunch up on that mountain. Okay, I've still got a few, but yeah, right away doesn't do as much as in Fallout 4. I'm going to care if I break into this thing, so... unique one or not. Somebody got killed over a game of poker. You have five kings. Get out of here. <laughs> and there's a sixth king right there. That dude was super cheating. And are they all diamonds? They're all kings of diamonds. So this guy's legit. This guy bought five kings of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, you got shot in the face for that one. You don't cheat cards around these parts. Ooh, ooh, give me that. Oh, that ain't worth nothing. Somebody likes their poker games. Alright, well we found some Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps. I have to go there to Festus and drop them a couple of more of them off. So is this just a super mutant commune, I think, right now? I don't think there's any people here. I hope it will stop like that. I thought there were some people around. Oh. Ah, here he is the super mutant we can recruit. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandpa. Uh, who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. 
Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. <laughs> I think you got me confused with someone else. I know. Of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? What do you do here? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery. Just like my grandkids. Hmm. Talk to you soon, dear. Yeah, Lily's Lily's hilarious. <laughs> She's just like way out there. Harmless enough, though. Well, if you make it, I don't like trying to bite your head off and you look at him. She's just a little crazy. Another human. What was enough? Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. You get a problem with me. Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. Well, I don't like being stared at either. Well, how does that make you different from some humans? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Well, who's the other human? Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. Well, what do you do here? I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. Well, why are you guys here? The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Why? Finally. <laughs> so, yeah, this doctor and I think he's trying to find a cure for them. That's why we gotta go up to Black Mountain and get this cure. Hey, buddy. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Well, what are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Well. What can I help with? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horners to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Well, that makes a Night Stalker mutation. What makes you think it's not natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local night stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that night stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. And why is uh, Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Well, does Stealth Boy use hurt humans? It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikon. So why are you helping the night kid? Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Alright. So you're a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Oh, uh, what? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. Okay. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Canine neuroscience? Cyberdogs and the like. 
It's not a field I work in much anymore. If we must. Oh, that'll come in handy later. I prefer the solitude. And having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Yeah. Ain't wrong there. Hey. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Man, the ghouls in this game, man, they look rough. Like, they did a good job on them. They're supposed to be, like, completely hideous. <laughs> Fallout 4 are just like, almost like people. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh, I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. What you got for sale? All right. We found the shop. Keeping that. All right. Let's see. So that. That's all we got to sell. Yeah. Another. Let me. Okay. Anyone other than Supermans come up this way? Prospectors looking for salvage usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Got an interesting name. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. Never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Bye. It must be good somebody keeping you around working on this stuff. Chunks of gray matter. So Keen wants to steal the prototype. Mm hmm. Quite. All right. What else we got in here? We'll, we'll explore this place fully in this video. And kind of just go from there. Freebies. Stocked on food. That's that's a good thing. Yeah, we definitely got some stuff we can sell. Henry's been 
So many staring eyes. See you around. So many staring eyes. Nobody staring at you. Someone watching me. I can feel it. Yeah, I'll try not to steal stuff when and where possible, but if there's something fancy I find, I will loot the mess out of it. Somebody's been there doing a bunch of droves. Hey, buddy. Someday, I miss being in the master's army. Oh, no, you don't. Marcus could get us some miniguns. Don't be so long, Charles. Because I nuked that sucker. Free bobby pins. Bobby? Yeah, we stick it. Boxing Times. Is that a. Oh, it's just a temporary book. Weapon repair kit and things are hard to find. Whoa, that's uh, Marcus's room. his way. Now we're gonna sneak. Uh, before we do that, <laughs> just in case I do something stupid. Get in here quick, 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 quick. Just want to see what's in here. I may not even have, have anything I need to steal. Oh, that's free. Did 
There ain't a goddamn thing in here. Oh, I got out of that. It was a carton of cigarettes. <laughs> oh, let's uh, go out here on the balcony. Got some snipers up here. Nothing else. Okay. Alright, let's go sell some stuffs. Where's Calamity? Where'd she get? Where's your. Oh, there she is. Hey there. Do do Where's that crap? Uh, I don't need that. No, you know what? I'll, I'll do it. I'll wait nothing. A few more bucks in my pocket. All right, so. I mean, I lost a little karma there, big deal, but I gained a bunch of experience. So next time on Fallout in Vegas, we're going to, I guess, talk to Lily and see about going and finding out these night stalkers and taking care of them. Laters.